Go ahead. Say the king uh -huh. of Jacob. Let them, let them bring forth and show us what shall happen. Uh -huh. Be the prophesied. prophesied. Let us know what's going to happen beforehand, right? right. Boy? Let them show the former thing, uh -huh. what they be, that they may consider them. That they may consider them, right? right. And know the latter end of them. Know the latter end of them, Or declare us the things to come. Amen. I'm going to tell you, now, let me go back. Let me go back now. Like you heard of Moses, right? Yeah. Absolutely. And Moses took the Red Sea. Who was those people who brought out of Egypt? Brought out of Egypt. Because you know, he didn't take ever all of Egypt because God destroyed it. So who was those people? Who was those people? Moses took the Red Sea. 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 It was Israelites, right? Israelites. Why are those people today? Everybody's still here. Why are they today? I mean, are those those people that's in the land that say that it is the land? You think those are the people? That was dealing with that African sun burning in there, building them pyramids? I'm going to call them something. Let's show you what they are. Read Deuteronomy chapter 1 verse 1. Look at Deuteronomy. Watch this. Look at Deuteronomy chapter 1 and 1. Go ahead. These be the words which Moses spake unto all of Israel on this side of Jordan in the wilderness. So he took them out of Egypt and brought them to the wilderness. That's what he told them, 28 and 1. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 1. Do you believe everybody was afraid of you? I don't really watch And, it shall, to the real book here. and it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Remember, he's only talking to the Israelites. Go ahead. To observe. And to do all his commandments. If the Israelites to do all God's commandments. Which I command thee this day. Go ahead. That the Lord thy God. Do what? Will set thee on high. Above. All nations of the earth. Not, not equal. So everybody wasn't created. He said above. Right. But he said above. So God has. These people. And he said. I created you to be above. all. Oh. Right. Now, here's the flip side. Go ahead. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 15. Go ahead. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, these people wouldn't listen, to observe, to do all his commandments uh -huh. and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses, all these what? All, all these, these curses, curses shall come upon thee. And overtake thee. Well, the Israelites, if they did listen, they were going to get the curse. If they were, they were above this, I mean, if they kept it, they would be above. Let's see what they choose. The book of Daniel, Daniel, chapter 9, verse 11. Right now. Yea, all Israel have transgressed thy law. They all of them broke God's law. Even by departing, that they might not obey thy voice. Go ahead. Therefore, the curse is poured upon us. So they got the curse. Now let's find out what, let me show you, because these curses, give me uh, Deuteronomy, go back to Deuteronomy 28, give me 46. It's the book of 40, 45, okay. It's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter Watch 28, this. verse 45. Moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee and shall pursue thee. Meaning no matter where you go, those curses are going to follow you. And overtake thee. overtake you. Till thou be destroyed. Not just physically, also mentally. Go ahead. Because thou hawkest not unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Because you didn't listen. Go to keep his commandments and his statutes, which he commanded thee. And what? And they the curses. shall be upon thee for a sign. Said those curses will be for a sign. Who's going to identify them? Go ahead. And for a wonder. And you wonder why you're going through this. And upon thy seed, your seed is your children. forever. Why? Because thou servest not the Lord thy God with joyfulness and with gladness of heart for the abundance of all things. Said, all things. What's going to happen to Therefore shall thy serve thy enemies. Said, you ain't going to serve because you don't want to serve me, you're going to serve your enemies. So God said that you told the people going to have that. Show you one more thing. Give me, give me a uh, verse 16. This is, this is one of the biggest curses. 16. Deuteronomy 28, 68. Watch this. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. The word Egypt means slavery or bondage. The Lord will bring you back to slavery again. Go ahead. With ships. With what? With ships. With what? With ships. And those Israelites are going to slavery on slave ships. Go ahead. 
by the way whereof I spake unto thee. Same way I'm telling you, the same way it's gonna happen. Thou shalt see it no more again. Never going to see your homeland anymore. And there, once you got off the station, he shall be sold unto your enemies. Sold to your enemies. For bond men man, and bond women. Woman, and no man shall buy you. Nobody's gonna rescue you. Nobody's gonna redeem you. What did that happen to in history? What do you think that was, was brought from one land as a nation of people? From one land to another land and sold once they got to that land. Who did that happen? Who did that happen? Like you could go right there on uh on the river right now. We literally took pictures of sign sign and it has all these African, so-called African tribes, the Igbo, the Yoruba, all of those different sides that say they came in right there on the river. Who are those people? On ships. So who would that make you? The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 1, verse 1. And it reads, These be the words which Moses spoke unto all Israel on this side of Jordan in the wilderness. Not an African American. You're an Israelite. That's where you are in the Bible. Give me uh give me 54. Watch this curse. Remember, it's this curse, the curse. The curses are going to be an identifier. Watch this curse. It's the book of Deuteronomy. Chapter 28, verse 54. So that the man that is tender among you and very delicate, uh -huh. his eyes shall be evil towards his brother. The curse is gonna hate his brother. And toward the wife of his bosom. And toward the remnant of his children, his children. which he shall leave. Then he's gonna abandon them, leave them single parent household. Curse that is the Israelites. Uh, I'm going to teach you about this. Watch this. It's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 32. Mm -hmm. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. And what happened? And thy eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long. And what's going to happen? And there shall be no might in thy hand. Your sons and daughters going to be given to another race of people, and you ain't going to have no power to get them back. That happened before the... 1865 before we got it. And it actually it was still happening after that which with the Jim Crow laws. They say there was more lynching, was more lynchings after 1865 than before. Because there was we Because we were there, we were, if we were dead, they couldn't use us to work on the uh, cotton field and stuff. So we were there. You know, they can't. 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 All right, sister, you're Israelite. All right. Amen. We got to repent, keep God's commandments. I believe. All right, sister. Now, the YouTube on the back of that.